Welcome back to Badass Witch Exclusive. This is the ingredient of the day, number 26, I believe. And what we have here is catnip, okay? And catnip uh, has a lot of uses. It's a very high vibrating uh, flower, plant, herb. Um, of course, you can use it for cats, you know what I'm saying? That's what most people use is feed it to your cats, uh, and it's intoxicating to a cat, okay? So, um, it also creates a psychic bond, okay, an emotional bond and psychic bond between you and your cat. If you make yourself a tea of this, or if you eat it in something, sprinkle it on your pizza or something, and then also feed it to your cat at the same time, okay? If you rub your cat, and it's not even necessary to rub them, but I've found that when you rub your cat and they're purring, uh, it helps to match your vibration to theirs, which is a very high vibration, which allows you, uh, allows me to see uh, into spirit realms that are above us because they're vibrating higher, okay? So you can see light beings and you can see beings that are made out of stuff that looks like when you blow bubbles, you know, the, the little iridescent, uh, colorful beings. I can't even see those, okay? You know, those are the things that our cats see all the time, okay? But more than just cats and, and, and creating a bond with your cat, especially if it's your familiar, you wanna do that. Um, but catnip is a good uh, bonding uh, thing with other human beings as well. Um, this is this can help bond you to your family members, to your best friend, your closest friends. Um, just by putting this in a sachet or holding it in your hand and like holding hands with the person that you love or um, with your friend or whatever, it will create an emotional and psychic bond. Okay, so catnip is very powerful. Um, again, high vibrating um, plant, okay? Um, you can put this in your spiritual baths. Um, you, can put, you can drink it as a tea. You can smoke it. <clears throat> again, you can feed it to your cats. Um, and you can put it in mojo bags to attract love. People soak this in um, whiskey uh, and other spirits to attract uh, love or a new lover. Um, it's a very, uh, it's all about beauty. Uh, it's about joy. You know what I'm saying? It's about um, all the high vibrating qualities, okay? Um, you can even use this in money spells to attract uh, money by causing you to vibrate emotionally and psychically on a higher level and then focusing on drawing the money to you okay so catnip has various uses again you can smoke it you can make a tea you can sprinkle it on pizza or in your spaghetti as an herb feed it to your cats put it in your spiritual baths use it in mojo bags um, dress your candles with it um, add it to your oils and um, it's all about love, beauty, happiness, and prosperity, okay, and good health. So, uh, and it also helps too if you burn this with your uh, with your sage or with some lavender. Uh, and when you smoke it, it, it increases your um, psychic abilities and your ability to see um, into other realms, particularly higher realms, okay? So catnip is definitely uh, something you wanna have um, as a staple uh, in your herb collection. Um, one, of, one, of the, one of my favorite um, herbs to use because of its multiple uses and because of the things that it is used for. So our ingredient of the day today is catnip. And until we meet again, my people, keep it classy, keep it clean, and do what you gotta do to make shit happen. Peace.